Hi everyone, it's that gratitude guy with a special, not a Monday morning minute, actually it's a little bit longer than a minute, but talking about what's happening to us in our coronavirus pandemic in the United States. I thought it was a great time to really focus on gratitude and talk about, I've got 10 things I wanna bring up today to give us a little different perspective. There's so much negative news, so much panic, a lot of people wondering how long is this gonna last and what's gonna to happen to me and my family and so forth. What a perfect time to step back and look at a perspective when it comes to this situation and how gratitude impacts us. Number one, technology. Think about this. We're so fortunate to have all this technology at our fingertips. I put down computers, webinars, Zoom calls, online opportunities, all this technology we didn't have even 10 or 15 years ago. Think how much better that's made this to go through and to be grateful for having this at our fingertips. Healthy. Be grateful you're healthy. Nothing's more important than our health. We've got many, many people that are getting sick. We're, of course, social distancing and taking our steps to wash our hands frequently and to stay in uh, somewhat of an isolation, almost quarantine type state. So important. Be grateful for your health. There really is nothing else that's more important. How about that extra time, the time you get? A lot of times with the family and your spouse and your children, you may not have had as we've seen schools close and a lot of uh, retail establishments and really most of the, the business world, if you will, shut down. What an opportunity to take kind of an unplanned vacation, if you will, to spend time with your spouse, your family, your children that you may not have otherwise. Science, think about how grateful we are to have the science. You know there's gonna be a vaccine for this before long. It might take a little time, but they're gonna find something. They're gonna find a cure, find a vaccine, something that'll take care of this. You couldn't have always said that many, many years ago. So how grateful are we for science too? Social connection, what this has really made us, I think, appreciate is how much we appreciate a social connection. You know, you don't really appreciate something until you don't have it. You can't really appreciate up until you've seen down. Well, this is kind of an example of seeing down. And you think about that human connection that we have with each other to connect to people, to talk to people face to face, that type of thing, that's so important. And speaking of that, the next thing I have at number six is personal touch. You realize again when something's taken away from you, how much you take for granted the hugs, the handshakes, the smiles, the, the actual eye contact and face-to-face -face interactions we have on a daily basis. You know, texting and social media and all these things have taken the place of this, but is there anything that takes the place of a face-to-face -face conversation? That's been taken away from us. So how much do we appreciate that? When all of this dies down, we'll remember that these are things that were taken away that we get back again. Cell phones, just think of cell phones. I know it's part of technology, but look at the texting, the apps, all the different FaceTime. You can take your phone and see the person you're talking to. How grateful are we for cell phones and everything that they've had us, given us the ability to have. The community, this has made us really appreciate being part of a community, something bigger than yourself. Everybody is in this together. This is nothing where there's just this group of people or that group. Everybody is in it together and that makes such a big difference too. Services, think of the services that we have through the technology. You can order your groceries, your food, your meals. It's to your doorstep. It's right there where you need it. You don't even have to go out. You press a couple of buttons on your phone. So service is another big thing we should really, really be grateful for. And lastly, embracing gratitude. Goodness gracious, I talk about it all the time. Yes, this is a bit longer than a Monday morning minute, but there's a few things that we can remember. And one of those things that makes us really, really do is realign our priorities. It's so important to constantly reprioritize and remember what's really important. I think this is when gratitude really shines because what it does is it makes you figure out and maybe pay attention to what's really important to you. And you find out what really makes you happy because you're focusing on what you have. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. Think about how gratitude helps you to focus on making sure that you look at the things that you have and the blessings you have and the abundance you have. Here's a, here's a gratitude journal that I write in every single day. Many of you have these and they're so helpful. Writing it down and plants it in your brain. If you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. But if you write about it, it empowers you. It makes such a big difference. So remember those things, technology, health, time, science, social connection, personal touch, cell phone, services, community, and embracing gratitude. Those are 10 things to keep in mind as we plow our way through this thing. We'll get through this. You've been through obstacles before in your life and you'll do it again. 
gratitude, embracing gratitude, an attitude of gratitude can help so much to give you a power boost to get through these things that are this challenging. Keep that in mind and stay strong. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit. Take care.